Hello guys, welcome back. Today I want to build a speeder bike. Uh, in the last update, Keen released a saddle cockpit here. They also made the speeder bike along with it, released it with the update. And it inspired me to build a, a new one by myself. I've already built a few speeder bikes before, these two here. I just pasted them in uh, as some inspiration. I have a few more, but I think these two fit pretty well. I want to build something small, like the blue left one. But the right one just kind of looks a bit better, so I, I want both of them as inspiration. I'm gonna use the two white cockpit actually. I want it to make it really small and I can just place this battery in front of it here. That is gonna fit like really well because it's also too white. And um, yeah, speeder bikes. You just need to worry about the thrusters right away because that's like, if you don't have enough thrusters, it might look nice, but it's just not gonna fly well at all. I'm just gonna add a bit of symmetry here. There we go. Right, I think I'm just going to go for four thrusters for now, upwards. That's probably going to work just fine with the battery. Just going to put them somewhere around here. I want to have like a big block in front of the cockpit, basically. And the cockpit is supposed to just like sit on top of it, behind it. Um, yeah, I guess this is the only space for the reverse thrusters. And then the forward ones should probably go like somewhere behind the cockpit. And then here maybe the, the sideways ones, right? So, a bit like this one. Um, I've got to attach them somehow. I guess I could just place a few blocks here and then maybe just put the thrusters below. And I think that works really well, actually. Yeah, well, I totally like this shape. This can definitely work. So, I'm just going to put a few thrusters here in the middle there, a few of the side thrusters. And then that's basically. Almost a, almost a working speeder bike already. Okay, this one doesn't place. Um, I'm just gonna use some panels, I think. Yeah, that should work. All right, there we go. That's all the thrusters. I kind of like the shape. Obviously, we need to like decorate it a little bit and add a few like blocks. It's kind of asymmetrical. I hope I can make that look a bit better as well. Um, Definitely needs like a little bit around here. So I'm maybe just gonna leave the thrusters there and I can add a slab there, just like this one. So like Yeah, I just wanna like just wanna like wrap something around here maybe. Yeah, I think this works pretty well. I mean okay, this is not this is gonna get damaged. Maybe you could yeah, the beam blocks should work. I think this works for now. Not perfect, but for now it's good enough. Just add the same thing here as well. And then it kind of like wraps around the thrusters a little bit so they don't stick out as, out as much. I like it so far, pretty good. I really like the shape. Um, this could definitely turn into like a proper speeder bike. Obviously needs a lot of finishing. And uh, currently I have seven of these thrusters working at the same time two forwards four upwards and one to the side and they take 600 kilowatts and the battery only has four megawatts but i need 4.2 megawatts so i'm just going to add like a small battery in here um yeah i think of removing a thruster is fine I, I can probably live without it i hope <laughs> I hope I don't crash into everything, but I think one thruster is good enough. Uh, I need the space for the gyro here anyways. And then maybe... Maybe an auto detector or something, where is it? Ah, there it is. Yeah, for now. I quite like that. Um, I'm just gonna give it a test right now, I think, and see how well it handles. All right, I pasted it in on the planet here. Let's just see how it handles. Oh, pretty good acceleration, I think. Obviously, because it's so small, it's not gonna be super fast. The smaller you make these, the weaker they become. Um, but I think this works pretty well. It has like a lot of upward thrust for these four thrusters, so it does pretty well in the corners if you just turn a little bit. And it also helps really like to prevent crashing into the ground, right? So, 
I think this kind of thruster composition, four upwards, one to the side, two forwards, and then one or two backwards, that generally works pretty well. I've done that before on other speeder bikes as well. Um, so I'm just gonna keep this, I think, and then just decorate it a little bit. All right, next day uh, I made some changes. Uh, the one on the right there is uh, the new version. Let's see some visual changes. This is the old one still, but before I show you that, uh, I just wanted to show you something else which is these two, because these are my earlier attempts and they didn't work out at all. I think they're pretty ugly. I just wanted to show you them because not everything that I built just works out, so oftentimes I just make some prototypes that are really ugly and I throw them away. So whenever something works, like this one, there's like two or three versions that just didn't work. Yeah, for the new one, I put some beam blocks here. I think that just looks pretty nice. Um, and then at the back added a connector so you can recharge it and then these gratings here I really need to put something around the cockpit I think um, and then also maybe try to like balance out this, this thruster that's sticking out to one side and uh, just put something on the other side Alright, a few more changes um, I thought the connector was kind of stupid there on the side because uh, you can't really connect it that well so I put it uh, here on the bottom remove the ore detector um, and then add like a, a bit of stuff here on the front. I'm just gonna make it like a racer, you know, bare bones, no antenna, no auto detector. You can still add them if you want on the back. And then here I um, add this button panel. It's just gonna be like decoration um, to balance out the thruster because it sticks out to the left and now I have the button panel sticking out to the right. I think that makes it look like a lot more symmetrical and then the gap, I have this grating here. Um, I think that works pretty well. All right, it's almost finished. Uh, I started coloring it and also did one more change. I put this little wing there in the back. Um, I think that makes it really a lot better. I don't know why, but it changes so much. It makes it look so much more realistic. I really love that. Um, yeah. One more little detail here. This is actually a neon tube that I grinded down. Looks pretty cool. It looks like a, an antenna, I think. I really like this, this little detail, I sometimes put that on stuff. And yeah, I just started painting it. Some different green tones, yellow, whatever. I like the one on the right quite a bit, so... Um, I think I'm just gonna go from here and then try to like properly color it. This is just like basic coloring and give it like an actual texture. And try to make it look a bit better still. And this is it, this is the final version. I added a few small details, added some red highlights here, and I made most of it just this kind of greenish yellow uh, with a bunch of different textures. Like, there's some better, some plastic, some corrugated. Oh yeah, and I also added these railings there. It's all neon, uh, also neon tubes there behind the cockpit. I think that looks pretty nice. It's mostly the same, otherwise just, you know, textured it properly. I think it really helps if you just have a lot of different textures. It really makes it more look more realistic. The whole speeder bike is only 59 blocks and just above 500 PCU, so it should be really easy to build. It also just weighs less than 10 tons. Um, doesn't have much, of course, not even an ore detector or an antenna, but it's like a really simple bike. Nothing more, nothing less, and I think it turned out pretty well.